God, we're going to try this again. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to upload. I'm loading Switch, but, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to upload this video full length. Because <coughs> it's probably going to take me longer to load him than 15 minutes. And thus far, I haven't had any success with uploading a video longer than 15 minutes but I'm gonna try to figure it out um, tonight and get y'all this video put up that load that I was supposed to have y'all video of yesterday weighed 89,000 pounds which is on the money so maybe I can do that again. Y'all can watch. I'm going to try to at least. But see, your bottom layer, your base layer is the most important part whenever you're loading any kind of wood. If you can get it right, the whole rest of the load will work out good most of the time. See, there's a balance of this stuff when you're loading switch butts um, of the right amount going the proper way, which is like I'm loading now, traditional, and then the proper amount going the switch butt way. And this job right here, I've loaded three switch butt loads or four. I've loaded three because Daddy loaded one of them. I hadn't quite got it figured out yet, but after this load right here, I should have it figured out. So you don't want to load too many switch butts because you can't have a back rack higher than the front. They don't light up at all. I've never done it, but I've heard of some guys doing it. So I don't want to be the one to find out. But It's just barely starting to rain, but it's just enough so far to get it slick leaving. For this truck, whenever he leaves here, it's going to be aggravating. Well, it won't be, but we're going to have to hook the skitter to him. We're going to do that before we ever try it. Yesterday, we tried pushing them, and they just slide down the hill, which that's what I figured. Um... It's a whole lot easier, a whole lot less work to push them than it is to hook the cable and unhook the cable and all that stuff.
I don't believe Cotton Top and them ever ever load like this, which some parts of the country they don't let you, but I think Cotton Top and them could if they needed to, but I don't believe that they need to. I think them trees down there weigh enough that they don't have to do it. The only reason we do it is to get weight on a truck and light wood. We get in some pretty pup wood. I mean, we ain't got to do it, but. And this shit right here is, you got to, you got to do it whenever it gets this small or this lightweight. Now begins the switch, but didn't proper balance. It's tricky sometimes. It's just like that short one right there, that short one right there. You lay it <coughs> toward the middle. Whereas these longer, prettier ones, you lay them to the outside so to hold your shorter ones like that in. The more sticks I had to give you more aggravation than anything else. See, that's ideal whenever it's long enough to put on there and it be from the front to the back inside all four standards that don't happen very often not whenever you and stuff where you got the switch but it but switch but turn around box load I mean there's a whole bunch of different names for it up here I mean I don't know what everybody else calls it but most popular term up here switch but and I don't mind loading it but it can get aggravating especially if you ain't used to it the first time I loaded it it looked like a mess I got him loaded Right now there, I got to cut off. Now what was fun was whenever that saw motor went out last time, I was trying to load switch butts without being able to spin them. You had to use the trailer to spin them. That was fun. That was a job and a half. It was taking me a little bit longer to load them, which we were in prettier wood, don't get me wrong, but still a job. Say some boys out here that can load switch butts faster than they can load 
traditional or just as fast because they've done it so much. Which if we get on a job where I'm doing it a lot, like this job right here, by the time we get done with this job, I can load it. Because I'm used to it. But it takes me a while to get back used to it. The worst ones is whenever you've been on a track of logs or pretty tree length where you're not having to switch but it for about three or four weeks and then you had to get on a job where you had to switch but it. That's hard. If they switch but it, you got to watch out for the cab of the truck. There's so much more you got to watch out for than traditional tree length you're just dragging it on there as long as you stop the switch butts you got so much hanging out from your grapple you gotta watch out for it and a lot of people don't pack the switch butts down as good or don't place it and just lay it up there but well, that's a mistake <clears throat> because them tops and this stuff they don't lay like the butts do they'll sit on top of something or this that or the other whereas if you get them to where they're laying in there like they're supposed to be you can fit a whole lot more wood on a truck that's the difference that is loaded I loaded a switch bus the other day. It weighed 81. All of mine have been 85 plus. Or 84 plus. I did have one that was a little bit light. But I don't know. I enjoy doing it. It's something different. It does get aggravating whenever you do a big job, the whole job switch butts. Put a few more on there, switch butt. See, and you try and get it level before you start putting your other wood on there. Because if you get it level before you start putting your other wood on there, the other wood lays so much better. Sometimes you can't, but if there's any way possible, I usually try to. Trying to get some of them vines out of there. Keep some of them vines from going on the truck. Take one more to put on that side over there.
We'll make it two more. Try to make it two more. Hey, that's the only aggravation. You down your booms right in the way. Whenever you're loading this stuff. The boom on this loader is. Now, if I can't get this video longer than 15 minutes, I don't know if I told you, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them, I'm going to upload them both on private. And once I get them uploaded on private, I'll turn them loose at the same time. So, if y'all see <coughs> one video, I'm going to try and get them where they're posted in order. So this should be, if it's over 15 minutes, it's going to be over 15 minutes by now. So y'all should see both videos. This should be your second video. So. And the only reason I'm not in such a hurry is because I'm trying to get weight on him. It don't matter how long it takes, really. Because we probably won't work tomorrow. So he's not going to carry it today. I do know that. There's no need for him to carry it today and then be here first thing in the morning whenever in the morning we ain't gonna be able to work now. Today is Wednesday. Y'all will probably be watching this on Wednesday.